Hey, it's David Elder, and today on the Houston edition of Texas Eats, we're traveling around the Lone Star State looking for great restaurants you won't want to miss. Get ready for a popular 24-hour diner serving up outrageous bites. When you walk in, you can just smell it. Then you've got all the cakes, pies, and everything right there in the front. I mean, it's like you're being hypnotized when you come over here to your table. Plus, we go inside an iconic steakhouse in the home of Bananas Foster. Give me some love, chef. I know you're standing over there. That's exquisite. And get your lemons ready. We visit a popular seafood joint in Corpus Christi. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. First stop on today's foodie adventures at a popular 24-hour diner. Now we're here in the Gulfgate area to go inside of an iconic diner that's serving up huge cheeseburgers, smothered pork chops, and all kinds of dessert. Let's go inside Dot Coffee Shop. Joining me now is the general manager out here at the restaurant, Angela Martinez. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> Thank you. Right in front of us. We got like the whole menu. This is it. Like these are all the big hits right here. Talk to me about Dot Coffee Shop. How did it all get started? Uh, yes, sir. So um, Dot Coffee Shop is part of the Papez brand and is actually one of the first restaurants that was opened up. We've been here in the Houston area well over 50 years. I would say we're an icon in the Houston area. It's where you come to uh, get comfort food, um, spend time with your family, and uh, get great service and uh, great quality food at the same time. When you walk in, you can just smell it. Then you've got all the cakes, pies, and everything right there in the front. I mean, it's like you're being hypnotized when you come over here to your table. I want to start with breakfast right here. This is the Houston omelet, like an homage to Houston. It's got a little bit of everything in there, right? Yes, sir. We, we actually call that the H-Town everything because <laughs> has everything that Houston is known for, right? Uh -huh. uh, we love our meat and we love our veggies and we love cheese and just mm. it's all thrown in one omelet and so it's got bell peppers onions bacon cheese and ham um, and then of course more cheese on top <laughs> and this is huge look at this, this is my hand I got a big hand that's bigger than my hand right there and I love doing this one too look it's bigger than my face it's bigger than my head right here <laughs> cheers that's the Houston omelet delicious, it's straightforward. That's what you want from an omelet. Absolutely. This one right here, this is like you said, this is the one to get. Chicken fried chicken, right? Absolutely. So um, first and foremost, we do make our own uh, chicken fried steak flour in-house. Mm. Uh, we make our gravy in-house. Uh, we have a gentleman that has been working here for well over 30 years that wow. has perfected that recipe. And What's his name? His name is Jesse. Jesse. Um, he is someone that uh, just works every single day with some pride and it, it produces this beautiful gravy. This right here, when you think of like breakfast, this is like next level over the top breakfast right here. Cheers to you. Cheers. Oh my goodness, the chicken <laughs> fried chicken. Here we go. That was so good. <laughs> Wow. When you come out for breakfast, you have the Houston omelet, which is a great option, completely loaded up. All the protein that you want on the inside, cheese, you have tomatoes on the outside as well. You have to get this one if you're looking for the big omelet. You can also get the chicken fried chicken. You have two eggs that come on out there. Get them sunny side up. The hash browns on the side as well. Everything is delicious. But that chicken fried chicken with that gravy that's made by Jesse in the kitchen, next level delicious. Talk to me about this burger. This is like ridiculous. Uh, yes, sir. So this is our double uh, bacon cheeseburger. It's fresh ground beef. Um, it's an eight ounce patty. So here you got two. So it's 16 ounces worth of a burger and then a beautiful two slices of bacon over the top. Oh my goodness. So yes. I'm going in for Go this in. burger. Okay, I can't wait to little... see this. <laughs> I love how this was supposed to hold the whole thing yeah. together. <laughs> The double bacon cheeseburger is phenomenal. It tastes like you're eating steak inside of the burger. The meat is such high quality. The seasoning is really nice. All the fresh produce has a really good snap to it. The tomato adds that little bit of acidic bite you want. Then you have that toasted sesame seed bun that's brought in every day. Delicious. When you think of that classic, iconic Americana burger bite, 
This is what you want. You have a smothered chop That's on right. the menu. And this comes with mac and cheese, greens on there. How do you make the chops? We actually put our mixed salt that we make ourselves in-house, and uh, we just add some flour to it, obviously uh, throw it on the grill. Uh, a hefty amount of uh, grilled mushrooms and grilled onions, and then we put it over a bed of rice that's made fresh, along with that brown gravy. That Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that's the bite. The smothered pork chops are phenomenal, especially if you're feeling extra, extra hungry. There is so much food on this plate. You got that rice on the bottom, the two smothered pork chops, you got a hefty amount of mushrooms. This is where it's at. When you're thinking of comfort food, this is the dish to get. Is there anything y'all don't make? I mean, you got coffee, you got the drinks, you got it all, right? Yeah, we can make anything. I mean, at the end of the day, we kind of speak to the whole city of Houston, and this is the spot to come to um, enjoy your family. This is also the spot to come after a hard day's work or before work or even after a nightlife inside the city. <laughs> yeah, it's 24 we're, hours. And we're five minutes from downtown, so. Dot Coffee Shop, an iconic restaurant here in Houston that you have to visit. I mean, come for one thing, come for it all. It doesn't matter. It's all going to be delicious. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. This is where it's at, y'all. <laughs> we're done. That's it right there. That's delicious. Mm. Now, we're cruising to the Alamo City for an award-winning chicken wing restaurant. Let's go inside Wayne's Wings. Now is the owner out here at Wayne's Wings Wing. Price, thank you so much for joining us, man. Having us out here. Thank you for coming. <laughs> My pleasure. But talk to me about how you started and where you're at. Like, what was that journey like getting to this point? You know, it's been a, a, a long journey, but a, a fun one. You know, it's this is what I love to do: cook and, and serve people. And you know, the community loves it, and it's just it comes from hard work. You know. Yeah. Now I want to start with the wings because that's why people come out here. So this right here is called the KK wing. What we do: we take hot sauce. You know, we add some jalapenos, some cayenne pepper, try to spice it up even more. The Cheers. KK wing. The KK. It's spicy, all and right? It's actually named after my niece, KK. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes. That's awesome. That's the bite right here. Woo. Okay, KK. Dwayne started this food concept out of a food truck in 2010. Now, it's a super popular chicken wing restaurant, two locations in San Antonio, a third one on the way, and you know, it's just delicious stuff, and that's why people keep coming back. You know, we take a lot of pride in our wings from when we purchase them all the way to when they're done and dressed. Starting out, like, our wings are all natural, uh, no added hormones, range-free birds, jumbo. We marinate them for 24 hours in our own marinade, batter them up with some flour, fry them after that to a good crisp. We don't just take and put them in a bowl and toss them around and throw the seasoning or the sauce on there. We actually take and dress each wing individually. The bone-in wings are phenomenal. I mean, you can see people keep coming in. It is, it's popping out here, man. But I want to do Thanks for coming. a quick little look at these boneless wings. Again, on our boneless wings, we start with uh, chicken breast. We take and cut them up, marinate them as well for 24 hours, and then we bread them with the flour fry them. Now this seasoning here is our Rodney's Ranch. So I'm going to go in. I want to try this guy right here. Cheers. Thank you. Go for it. Oh, wow. Now we tried a couple different boneless, a couple different bone in, wet sauces, dry sauces. You can get sweet, you can get savory, you can get spicy. There's so many options, something for everyone. That is so good. I love that. And look at the chicken. I mean, super tender. flavor that you have to try when you come out here to Wayne's Wings is their funnel cake wings. It's their traditional country fried chicken wing and on the outside powdered sugar, cinnamon, all the flavors you expect from a funnel cake on the outside of a chicken wing. That's the bite. This is so fun. So the Philly cheesesteak sandwich is something that I had to I had to put on my menu. I'm from New Jersey slash Philadelphia, but I really missed an original Philly cheesesteak sandwich. We use real sliced steak 
ribeye steak. You know, we toast our roll all on the grill, not in the toaster. This is all on the grill like it's supposed to be done. Cheese on there. We got extra cheese added on top. Can we feel an extra cheesy today? The cheese steak out here at Wayne's Wings. That's the bite. That just tastes like a traditional, delicious Philly cheesesteak. It's got the peppers, the onions, the mushrooms, some of the white cheese on top of it as well, yellow cheese as well on there, the toasted bun on the outside, the sliced ribeye meat. I mean, it's delicious, it's fun, and there's a lot of it. It's a big sandwich. Give me some love. Woo! Man, it's as good as the first time I ever tried it. Mm, Man, that's, that's good. Nice and crunchy on the outside, gooey on the inside. All the veggies are cooked perfectly. The meat is really nice and seasoned as well. Mm. You can see you've like individually mm. seasoned everything, so there's a lot of love. Did you go for a second bite? You went for a second yeah, bite, I didn't did. you? <laughs> this is amazing. I love what you're doing out here, you guys. If you're looking for chicken wings, boneless, bone in, chicken and waffles, cheese steaks. I mean, all kinds of seasonings and dressings on the wings, too. Wayne's Wings is their second location here at Bandera. I mean, great job, man. I'm so proud of you. You guys are doing big things, and I know that this is only the beginning still for you. You got a lot of big things coming ahead of you. Oh, yeah. But, you I mean, San Antonio original. Just killing the game. I'm going to keep eating the sandwich. <laughs> Go for it. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we go inside an iconic steakhouse in the home of Bananas Foster. Give us some love, Chef. I know you're standing over there. That's exquisite. And next on the show, get your lemons ready. We visit a popular seafood joint in Corpus Christi. You peel them. Yeah. Shrimp That's what it says on the menu. Right. We're just going in on it. I like oh, your yeah. style, Paul. Oh, oh. You started around. after me and you Sorry, ate before man. me. I like what's going on. That's the bite. Little you peel them shrimp. around here. <laughs> So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Corpus Christi to go inside of a spot that's serving up all kinds of fresh seafood. Let's go inside Saltwater Grill. Joining us now is Paul Hatridge. He's the owner out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us out here. Great to have you. I mean, we're in Corpus. you got to have the seafood when you're out here. And you have a wonderful display of all different kinds of seafood goodness. you got golf shrimp and you got some oysters right here. We're just going in on it. You peel them. Yeah. Shrimp. That's what it says on the menu. Right. We're just going in on it. I like your style, Paul. Oh, oh. You started around. after me and you Sorry, ate before man. me. I like what's going on. That's the bite. Little you peel them. shrimp around here. <laughs> Oh, here's the love. That's good. I absolutely love oysters. Yeah. A lot of the horseradish. Yeah. Cocktail sauce on top as well. Yeah. You're now, gonna some join... people like to slurp those out of the shell. Obviously, you do. Are I'm... you a fork guy? I'm a little more civilized, I think. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, getting outclassed here by Paul. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Only animals slurp them off the shell, okay? <laughs> Cheers to you. There you go. The shrimp and oysters, a great way to start your meal out here at Saltwater Grill. The shrimp are ready to eat. You've got to peel them yourself, but they're already deep veined, ready to rock and roll. And those oysters are absolutely delicious, especially with their house-made cocktail sauce and some horseradish. This one right here, this is your special? That is a fresh piece of red snapper that is slightly blackened, thrown on the flat top and seared. We have a cream sauce, it's got a little Dijon in it, shrimp and crab. Uh, we call it Ponce Train, I think you probably heard that. Yeah. But that's our version of it. It's fantastic. We have customers that uh, request this, even if it's not on the feature board, and we're happy to do it for them. So, <laughs> so I'm going to get a little shrimp to go with mine. <laughs> I'm not messing around. There you go. There it is. Cheers. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> Let me tell you, the red snapper dish that they have featured here, absolutely delicious. The sauce that they have on there, the little veggies, the shrimp on top, a really nice dish. That sauce is next. I would drink that. <laughs> Give me that instead of this beer and it's down. <laughs> I'm putting it down, baby. This go. is good food. Yeah. This is a Mahi Mahi, which is a nice vehicle for all different kinds of seasonings and sauces. What are you guys doing with it here? Yeah, a little bit different. This is something that we sort of created, and it's a mainstay on our menu. Got a little French 
and a little Gulf of Mexico combination uh, south of the border, if you will. It's got our hollandaise sauce, pico de gallo, fresh avocado, a lot going on in this dish. Fresh garlic, shallots, got a little Tabasco in there, so it's, it's going to kick it up enough. comes a little bit of bright hollandaise sauce that they're making here in house and some pico de gallo. And that on top is colorful, it's fun, it's bright, and the acidity matching with that sauce, it just makes for the ultimate bite. You've completely transformed Mahi Mahi here. Saltwater Grill. This is a really fun place to come out here in Corpus. All the food is delicious, and what a fun spot. You can bring the whole family. You got beer on tap, man. You just come out here and enjoy yourself. Grab that beer right there for me, Paul. Thank you so much for having us out here. We're going to be here a while, baby. I'm going to eat that whole pasta. That? Oh, we're drinking it. <laughs> Texas Eats, we'll be right back. Houston edition of Texas Eats. Now we're here in Midtown to go inside of an iconic restaurant that's serving up steaks, crawfish, plus they're the home of Bananas Foster. Let's go inside Brennan. Joining me now is Alex Brennan Martin. He's the proprietor out here at the restaurant. Thank you so much for having us. It's nice to have you here. And right in front of us, we have the hits off the menu. These are the dishes that you want to get when you come out here, including a seafood tower. How did all of this get started? Oh gosh, uh, 1967 here in Houston, but before that, my family went into originally the bar business uh, in 1945 in New Orleans, right after the war. Uh, my grandfather, a retired shipbuilder, his eldest son, they bought the old Addison House Bar. Uh, Mid-60s, the family was looking for uh, to come to Houston, and they found this wonderful old building built by John Stopp, who built uh, I'm a Hogs, beautiful Bayou Bend, and uh, it, and he built it, it was the original home for the Junior League. And uh, But it was modeled after the building, believe it or not, that the restaurant is in New Orleans to this day, at 417 Royal Street, the Jose Ferre House. That's so wild, it's right? A, it's, it's a, a crazy small story. world, right? How it all kind of wraps together. Serendipitous. You yeah. don't get to say serendipitous all <laughs> that often. No, so. and when you do, it's really fun, especially yeah. in moments like that. We're actually in the kitchen right now. Yes. I want to start with the seafood tower. This is the thing you want to get when you come out here to the restaurant. Simple, uh, mostly Gulf seafood, not 100% Gulf seafood. Some of our oysters have frequent flyer miles. <laughs> they come in on airplanes. We have some uh, uh, oysters from uh, Rhode Island, actually beaver tail oysters. And the larger oysters are some of, the, uh, some of our local Galveston Bay oysters, which are still great this time of the year. I love it. There. The oysters. Well, good oysters are uh, a treat and a specialty unto themselves. I highly recommend the Seafood Tower. It's a little bit of everything on there. You have the lump crab, you have all the oysters from all over the place, including the Gulf, and you have all the little accoutrement on top, right? So you can add it into your oyster. I like to add a little bit of everything on there. I like to kind of build that flavor up, but it is a great way to get your meal started. This is our fish pecan. Uh, growing up in New Orleans, a, a, a traditional dish uh, right out of French origins uh, was trout amandine. My uncle was literally walking back and forth from his house to the restaurant and, and comes in the restaurant and says, why are we putting almonds on our, uh, on our trout when I'm literally stepping on pecans yeah. on the way to work? And just look how nice the flaky fish on the inside as well. What a great texture on there on the outside. There we go. Done. There we go. That's the bite. Wow. The pecan crusted gulf fish is incredible. All of that seasoning on the outside, all that crust on there, it helps steam the inside of the fish. Cook it a little bit differently than you would get through a sauteed or grilled. It is flaky, it's tender, and then you have all that sauce on there as well. It is so nice, especially with the cream corn on there, it makes for the perfect bite. In the front, when you talk about juicy, tender, the filet is the king of all of that. What's going on with this one? You know, it, it's our Angus filet, as simple as, as you can make it. We make a homemade Worcestershire sauce. Oh, oh. And it's been around for quite some time. And it really is, it's, it, it's for the meat and taters eater, right? Right. Uh, this one has 
you know, breaking one of the cardinal rules for meat and potato eaters. Uh, it has something green on the plate, but yeah. <laughs> the shaved Brussels sprouts with uh, the uh, mushrooms and, and potatoes, just almost, think of it almost like a little hash. You tell your doctor you had a salad. There you yeah. <laughs> a little something. That's right. All right. Go. We're going to go into the inside of this house-made Worcestershire sauce. I mean, that you don't hear that very often. And look at this. A perfect medium rare on the inside. Cheers to you. Cheers. The filet. Look, Chef. I know you're standing over there. <laughs> That's exquisite. This fillet is one of the most tender slices of steak I've ever had in my life. This thing just melted in my mouth. The house-made Worcestershire sauce on there as well. The Brussels sprouts on the side. You can call it a salad if you want to, right? You can feel a little bit better about yourself. But it is a fantastic cut. And if you're looking for something that's just going to take you over the edge, that perfect slice of filet, you got to come out to Brennan's. You also have dessert. Yes. So talk to me about your Bananas Foster. Yeah. Um, bananas Foster, created by my family. Um, it, going back to Bourbon Street uh, in the late 40s, very early 50s, one of my uncles married a young lady and a part of the Lally family. And they were in the fruit importing business. A friend of my uncle, who was there at the time at the tasting, oh, this is the best thing I've, I've ever had. His name was Ben Foster of the Foster Awning Company. So, Bananas Foster it was. There was no rhyme or reason to it. Now, we're going to get a bite of this, but you can't do any of this by yourself. You have a great team behind you as well, right? Jose Arrivolo, who is our senior, we call him our Creole sous chef, and then John Salazar has joined us again. I, I couldn't be more blessed. Brennan's in Houston. Of course, Brennan's in New Orleans, also an institution as well. But when you're in Houston, you have to come out here. You have to try the Bananas Foster, all the wonderful dishes that you've seen here on the show as well. Grab a spoon with me. All right, I told you guys I was going to share this. I'm not going to share this. I'm going to keep this under my head. <laughs> Texas Eats, we'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, clicktohouston.com slash Texas Eats. And don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Sunday at 1030 in the morning right here on KPRC2, because this is how Texas Eats.